Hi, I'm Dr. Caroline Leaf, and welcome to Cleaning Up the Mental Mess, a podcast where each week I discuss practical, simple, and scientifically backed ways to help you take back control of your mental health and to help others and ultimately live your happiest life. In this episode, I'm going to discuss how we can use technology to actually improve our sleep and how poor sleep quality affects our mental and physical health, even how temperature affects our sleep and so much more. Joining me today via Skype to help me tackle this important topic and to share some extremely helpful tips is Matteo from 8Sleep a company that specializes in creating high-tech products, content, and tools that can help you achieve sleep fitness so you can fulfill your maximum potential. Matteo is also a successful entrepreneur, so we discuss how starting your own business can affect sleep and how he managed to overcome burnout and stress to create a thriving company. Just before we start, I want to thank everyone again who has left a review, subscribed to this podcast, and shared it on social media, and shared with friends and family. Not only does your feedback help me improve each episode, but I love seeing what you guys are learning and what key takeaways you have. It's so encouraging and so exciting. One more note before we begin, this interview was done via Skype so the audio quality may be a little scratchy in some areas. Okay, let's start. Welcome, Matteo. Thank you so much for joining me on my podcast today. Why don't we start with you introducing yourself and telling us a little of your story? Thank you. Thank you for having me. Um, my name is Matteo. I'm uh, I'm Italian, and uh, I'm the CEO and co-founder of um, Eight Sleep. Um, our mission is uh, really to to disrupt sleep. Uh, we are the first uh, sleep fitness company, and so our end goal is to enhance sleep through technology. Oh, I love that! Using so we you know we hear so much about how technology is disruptive and especially with cell phones and computers. So it's great to hear how technology can be used to also help us sleep, not block our sleep. So tell me about, tell me about your company. Why is it unique, your mission, your goals? Yeah, so, I mean, uh, in our vision, uh, we, we have two key things. On one side, we want to enhance sleep, right? There are a lot of sleep tracking companies out there. And they are definitely helpful in reporting data, but they don't take any action to um, actually improve your sleep. That is what we do. Um, our hero product, the, the pod, comes with thermoregulation. So it means that it can adjust the temperature for each side of the bed multiple times during the night to maximize your sleep. So uh, there are already clinical studies proving that the thermoregulation can uh, um, help you get up to 20% more deep sleep, can help you fall asleep faster. And we are seeing the same through our data as well. Actually, 84% of our customers is reporting better sleep uh, through cooling, which is our temperature feature. Oh, wow. That's incredible. So can you explain what it is exactly, the pod? Yeah, so the the pod is the the first smart bed. Uh, It gets shipped to you. So think of a a bed in the box with technology to enhance your sleep. What is that technology? It's a couple of different things. First is thermoregulation. So there is a technology embedded in in the bed, in the mattress, that uh, um, regulates the temperature of each side of the bed uh, based on your specific needs. So it keeps adjusting during the night, following your body temperature, your heart rate, and your sleep, and make sure that you always sleep comfortable and you get as much deep sleep as possible. On the other side, uh, the the pod, uh, our product, also tracks everything about your sleep. So in the morning, you can wake up and you just can look at the app and see uh, how long you slept, what was your deep sleep, what was your percentage of REM, heart rate, and many other features. 
And it also comes with uh, uh, an alarm um, to wake you up at the moment of light asleep. And it leverages both sounds and uh, uh, temperature to wake you up. Wow. So you can use that instead of your cell phone alarm <laughs> to wake you up. Yeah. Actually, yeah. Actually, cooling personally is one of my, my uh, favorite features to wake me up. So the bed starts cooling me um, starting X minutes before I want to wake up. And what happens is by feeling cold, you accelerate your heart rate and you get out of a deep and REM sleep. And so you wake up naturally before the alarm goes off. That is amazing. So that, that actually, uh, can you talk a little bit more from just what you've just said now about how temperature actually affects sleep? And then, because you've just explained how it wakes you up when your body cools down. That's incredible. So just during the course of the night, why is it so important that your, the temperature of the bed follows the temperature of your body? and how that actually influences and affects sleep. Yeah, absolutely. So temperature is a very personal thing. And that's the reason why there are a lot of people that sleep hot, a lot of people that sleep cold, and almost 50% of couples, they fight around temperature in, in the bedroom, in the bed. And the reason is, temperature is first, as I said, personal. But second, your temperature, your body temperature keeps changing during the night. And that is based on your circadian cycle. So usually as soon as you fall asleep, your body temperature drops. It stays low for most of the night. And then a couple of hours before you wake up, your body temperature starts rising again. And the reason is your body is getting ready to wake up a couple of hours later. What the pod does is uh, it just follows your circadian rhythm and it just helps your body to achieve this different temperature faster and at the right time based on where you are in your sleep during the night. This doesn't happen in any other product because your bed usually just gets warmer and warmer because the foam absorbs your body heat. So instead of dropping the temperature and then rising it again, the temperature in the bed just goes up in a regular and traditional bed. At the same time, your bedroom probably just maintains the temperature fixed at whatever 68 degrees or 70 degrees. So again, there is nothing in your bedroom on in your traditional bed that can really follow your circadian rhythm and your body temperature. Only the pod can support with that. There are clinical studies um, and there are also books that if you look at Why We Sleep from Matthew Walker, there is a whole section about the importance of temperature in sleep. And uh, in the book, Matt uh, talks about the fact that there is evidence that uh, thermoregulation can help you achieve more deep sleep and fall asleep faster. Well, and in this day and age where sleeping is such an issue and we know that sleeping affects our health, this is really great. Can you talk a little bit more about how poor sleep impacts our, our mental and brain health? Yeah. I mean, it, it's interesting. Actually, I, I, I just tweeted about that. Uh, the, the, mm. the interesting part is the more I studied sleep and the more time I spend with doctors and sleep scientists, the more I understand why sleep is such a pillar for health, right? And uh, the, the, while you are asleep, um, the brain goes through multiple processes that are extremely valuable. First of all, it, it uses this time to eliminate toxins from itself and from the rest of the body. And second, it uses moments like, in particular, deep sleep and REM to really storage the information. So for memory, it's extremely important to spend time asleep. That's, uh, uh, can, that can be achieved both with the regular sleep during the night, but also through naps during the day. I remember when, when, when I was uh, still young and studying at college, that sometimes when I was trying to memorize something, I was taking a very short and quick nap, and that would help me to solidify this information inside my brain. That's fantastic. Yeah, I teach on the mind-brain connection and, and sleep is so vital for regenerating physically and regenerating mentally. And there's so many as there's so many negative side effects with um, not sleeping, as we all know. So just to have all these different ways of helping us is fantastic. 
So your, your particular bed, you call it the um, eight sleep. And that really helps to improve sleep. You've got clinical studies about this. And you've mentioned a couple of clinical studies. Could you talk just a little bit more about the scientific research around your bed um, in terms of helping us to sleep and to improve our mental health? Yeah, absolutely. So we we are running uh, three clinical studies. There are two with Mount Sinai and one with UCSF. And we are also starting a new clinical study with Stanford. Two of these studies are focused on uh, um, comparing our device to a polysomnograph, mm. so to health grade devices for sleep tracking. The one with UCSF is focused on atrial fibrillation. So we are um, uh, comparing ourselves to EKG and uh, with, with, uh, with people suffering from atrial mm. fibrillation. And we do these to, on one side, collect truth data to then train our algos and so make our accuracy uh, more reliable and, and more accurate. On the other side, also to prove and validate that our technology has the ability to pick um, these sort of diseases. The one with Stanford that uh, we are starting now instead is about temperature. And so we are running our own study to prove how um, thermoregulation during the night can have an impact on your sleep quality. Mm, this is fantastic. So you really are taking this to a very clinical level. There's a lot of science behind what you are, what you, what you see in terms of the design of your beds. And now you talk about tracking your sleep and being able to wake up in the morning and see how you've slept. Are people using this information to improve their sleep health? Absolutely. So we call that sleep fitness. And the reason is we really think of sleep as one of the three pillars of health, right? There is uh, sleep, there is activity, fitness, and there is nutrition. But actually, I always think that uh, the, the real first pillar is sleep because it doesn't matter what you eat and how much you train. If you sleep two, two hours per night, there is nothing you can really do on the other two pillars, right? Exactly. And uh, so through our app, you can see all the metrics and all the stats of the past night and the past month and the past year. And uh, we are now working on new features around uh, um, insights and correlations. So the whole point of technology is to be able to identify patterns that you as an individual could not see or correlate and provide that information to you. Again, the end mission of these companies is to make you sleep fit and to make, to make that happen, we need to enhance and improve your sleep performance. We do that through thermoregulation and we do that through coaching in the app. That's incredible. So you can actually help a person identify that they're sleeping and using the technology, you helping the person to identify their negative sleep pattern and then you're giving them a solution as well. In terms of while you're sleeping, you're providing the solution through the thermoregulation and you're providing tips through the app. What are some of the additional tips that, that you provide through the app for people to get more sleep fitness into their life? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I mean, there are a couple of different behaviors that can have a very strong impact on your sleep quality or how you feel in the morning. Because if you think at the end of the day, the number one reason why people sleep is because they need to feel great in the morning, right? They, they need to feel alert, they need to feel ready, they need to feel they have energy. And so how they feel when they wake up is the most important thing for them. And so if you start talking to a lot of doctors uh, with, with, with a lot of experience in the field, they would tell you that there are a couple of different behaviors that have a huge impact. First, obviously, we all know the, the number of hours that you, you spend sleeping. It should be somewhere between seven and nine uh, hours. But another thing that we have found working extremely well is what we call wake-up consistency. So waking up always at the same time is extremely important because you're training your body to just wake up at that time. So an example is don't oversleep over the weekend because the signal you're sending to your body is like if you were in a different time zone, right? If you usually you wake up at 6, but then over the weekend you wake up at 10 a.m. Uh, for two days in a row, it's really like being in the difference between the East Coast and the West Coast here in the, in, in the U.S. So try to be consistent and, and wake up always at the same time. At that point, you will see that even if you had a, 
a night of sleep that was not perfect, you will still feel a refresh when you wake up because your body will wake up naturally at that time or through its own biological clock. That's absolutely brilliant. So you're actually training that to training your body physically to get into the habit of sleeping more or less at the same time and waking more or less at the same time, which allows your body to to balance its circadian rhythm and get the full regenerative benefit from sleep, which is wonderful. Let me tell you about one of my brain-boosting hacks. It's so hard to find time to sit and read and learn more, but there's an incredible app that solves this issue, Blinkist. Blinkist takes the best key takeaways, the need-to-know information from thousands of non-fiction books and condenses them down into just 15 minutes that you can read or listen to. I love using Blinkist as part of my morning brain building and detoxing routine. Right now, for a limited time, Blinkist has a special offer just for my audience. Go to Blinkist.com slash Dr. Leaf. Try it free for seven days and save 25% off your new subscription. Ladies, I need to tell you about a bra company that has changed my life, Third Love. With Third Love, I took a really quick and fun online quiz, which then matched me to the perfect bra shape and size. Every customer has 60 days to wear it, wash it, and put it to the test. If you don't love it, you can return or exchange it for free and Third Love will donate it to a woman in need. Right now, they are offering my listeners 15% off your first order. Go to thirdlove.com slash Dr. Leaf. That's thirdlove.com slash Dr. Leaf for 15% off today. Okay, so as an entrepreneur, what have been some of the biggest challenges in terms of your mental health and how have you managed to overcome these challenges? You know, maybe burnout, loneliness, dealing with failure, keep it going when things maybe seem like they are not what they should be and so on. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, being an entrepreneur is like living a, you know, a, a very exciting life with a lot of ups and downs. And um, so a couple of different hacks that, that work for me a uh, lot of focus on health, meaning uh, um, I, I try to train um, quite a lot. Um, I feel the benefits of training in terms of energy and relaxation during the day it just makes me feel better. Um, I'm, uh, for example, on a keto diet. Uh, I found that that works really well for me. Uh, I, I feel more mental energy during the day. Uh, without that usual cloudy cloudy feeling around 2 p.m. So I am able to, to skip that. Um, I fast. And obviously I pay a lot of attention for into my sleep. Um, I always try to sleep at least uh, um, eight hours per night. So uh, I'm an early riser. So I also try to go to bed quite early to make sure that I have enough time um, for me to sleep and recover. And then obviously I use meditation. Um, I'm, I'm not still great at that, but, but I'm working. You, you need great consistency, but I start seeing the benefits of that in, in my brain, in my clarity and in my thoughtfulness. I love that. Some of the quotes that you have on your website about, um, sleep being sleep fit. I love the concept of sleep fit. You talk about one of the doctors, Dr. David Rep reports, talks about Someone who sleep fit is sharper, faster, less likely to be depressed or get into a disruptive discussion, less argumentative, less grumpy, manages social skills better and performs at a higher level, physic- higher level physically and mentally. You know, I can't, I can't agree with that statement more. It's just really so true. And, and I think a lot of people, and I wanted to ask you if this is your experience and feedback from, from people that have used your, your pod and your sleep eight sleep bed, if they, they have found a change in those particular behavior patterns. Because I think a lot of people don't always realize that those particular things like being disruptive and depressed and less you know, argumentative and grumpy and those kind of things are, are coming largely from a lack of a really good sleeping pattern or sleeping fitness. Can you speak into that a little? Yeah, I think there is a, um, a growing interest into sleep. Um, people um, are understanding the the importance of their sleep, right? If you go back 20 years ago, it was uh, actually cool and quite a you know, normal practice for entrepreneurs to say, oh, I sleep only 
three or four hours because I have to work, for example. Um, I think that today that will, would not be well received because if you really sleep three or four hours, unless you are one of less probably than a thousand or a million people that have specific genetic properties uh, to make that work, uh, you are really impacting your health. It's really like not going to the gym and uh, eating unhealthy every single day. And so we are seeing more and more people understanding the importance of sleep fitness and recognizing us as the, as the ambassador of this new category that is being created. Because uh, sleep is a sort of, if you want, a training for your own body. You are doing something good to your own health and longevity. This is going to impact your brain. It's going to impact your alertness. Is going to improve your capacity to learn and memorize new things. Is going to have um, an impact on a lot of biological functions that happen within your body. Uh, diabetes, obesity, Alzheimer, all of these diseases um, have been proven to be correlated to a lack of sleep. So avoiding high sleep quality or avoiding taking care of your sleep is definitely going to affect your health and your longevity. I couldn't agree more. You know, if you think of the fact that the average person is awake around 15 hours a day or so on, we, and we're constantly building thoughts in our brain and responding to life, we need that seven to nine hours to literally decompress and to prepare ourselves for the next day. And with the science of thought, which is my field, if you don't have enough hours to do that and go through all the cycles of sleep, you actually build up a lot of toxic waste in the brain, which as you've just said now, all this combination can set you up for these lifestyle diseases, you know, this, the cancers and the cardiovascular. And so it's not, as you say, it's well, I thought I love what you said about the fact that a few years back, it was kind of trendy to say, oh, I was up all night working all night and almost like, well, if you're not working all night, you're not the best entrepreneur, you know, you should be only, you don't need much sleep. Now it's shifted where people are realizing to be successful, we need to sleep. So there's a definite shift, I agree with you, in how people see sleep and, and the whole concept around sleep. That leads me to a question that I'm hoping you can help a lot of my listeners with. And that is that, okay, we are understanding the need for sleep. And now we're worrying because we can't get enough sleep. And the worrying about not sleeping is also very dangerous for the, for the brain and the body. How can your pod help with that worrying about not sleeping? Yeah, we can, we can help in a couple of different ways. First, um, again, through temperature. Uh, a lot of people sleep hot, a lot of people sleep uh, um, cold. And a lot of couples, they fight around temperature. And temperature... First, is fundamental to be comfortable in order to have a sound sleep. And second, again, there is scientific evidence proving its benefits in terms of deep sleep and, and, and other uh, variables in your sleep. Second, you cannot improve something that you don't measure, right? And so being able to track your sleep, seeing trends, seeing what time on average mm. you go to bed, seeing if you in the, uh, during the weekends you oversleep, seeing the number of interruptions, and maybe reconnecting that also to other actions that you take during the day. Maybe you see the past, the past month, uh, your sleep quality dropped 20%, and maybe it was a very tough month at work for you, or maybe you just had a baby. Co uh, connecting and correlating your sleep to the number of steps that you take, or you going to the gym or not, right? All this kind of information will be able to drive you to optimize your sleep quality. And then well, we have the alarm, which is the last one, which also helps you to wake up um, refreshed and not groggy, uh, whatever was uh, your, your past night of sleep. That's fantastic. So what you do is giving people real practical things that they can do. You're supplying an incredibly comfortable bed with a way of actually using technology to train themselves to first of all identify their sleep patterns and how it changes over time and then you're offering solutions to how to manage that so it's very practical because I think when you give people this is what you can do and they start experiencing the benefits it's, it's tremendously helpful yeah as I was saying earlier 84% of our customers is reporting uh, uh, better sleep 84% wow that's amazing yeah through the pod, we see a 17% increase in deep sleep. 
we see a 20% plus reduction in toss and turns. We see a reduction in the number of times they wake up during the night. So I think the, the data speaks for itself and um, is definitely proving the, the benefits of uh, uh, what we're doing. That's incredible. What about people that battle with sleep apnea and snoring and restless leg syndrome? You know, those kind of things that wake people up quite a lot during the course of a night. Does this does this technology help that? So obviously, clearly, right? First, we're not a medical device. Um, we will be able, um, hopefully in the future, to be able to track respiration. Uh, we, our technology um, is, is able to get there. Um, and it's, it's not even that far. Um, so we're getting there. Um, I have restless legs myself. So I'm one, I'm one of, uh, of those people. Like any company, no, we are at the beginning of a journey. Uh, I think seeing these meaningful results is already extremely exciting for us. And it's, again, just the beginning of a journey that uh, you, you, you can think of what we can achieve in the next three to five years, then in 10, then in 20, then in 100. I think... Um, Sleep will go through a very strong disruption uh, through technology in the next few years. Fantastic. And you're ahead of the game there with what you've already done and what you've already provided. And, and you're constantly doing ongoing clinical studies and research, which makes your product very adaptable to the needs of people and growing, growing on a, on a very scientific level. That's amazing. Okay, lastly, where can people find out more about you, 8sleep, and your products? Yeah, absolutely. So we, uh, they can go on our website, which is 8sleep.com, 8-E-I-G-H-T, sleep.com. And um, actually, we are offering a 150 bucks off um, with the code uh, Dr. Leaf, D-R-L-E-A-F. Which is fantastic. That's incredible. Matteo, before we close, is there anything else, any other? And we go, by the way, we will put all those details in the show notes. So you'll be able to go to the show notes to get to the web page. And listeners, if you're ready to take your sleep quality to the next level, 8sleep, as Matteo has said, is offering a special just for you. Get 150 off the pod with the code DRLE. AF at checkout. And I will, as I said, have the link and more details in the show notes. But Matteo, before we close, is there anything else you'd like to say about sleep and about this incredible technology? Um, no. Um, we, we, if you are curious to see and, and try the product, we have a space in New York and we also have a retail space in San Francisco. So go and check it out. Oh, wow. Yeah. So people can go and have a have a have a little test run in New York and San Francisco. That's wonderful. Well, Absolutely. Matteo, thank you so much for joining me today. It's so interesting. I really found it very informative. I loved everything you shared, and I cannot wait to put into practice the tips that you have given. So thank you so much for joining us. Thanks to you for having me. I hope you found today's podcast interesting and helpful. If you want more tips and help with managing anxiety, depression, and mental health, be sure to visit my website at drleaf.com and to sign up for my weekly newsletter where I also include a schedule of my speaking events and so much more. And follow me on social media. I'm on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Just look for Dr. Caroline Leaf. Also, I love seeing all your posts on social media about this podcast. I love seeing what resonates with you and what you've learned. So be sure to continue posting and tagging me and letting me know what you think and how these tips worked out for you. And don't forget, leave a review and keep spreading the word about this podcast. Thank you for joining me today. I really hope you learned something new and helpful. Till then, I'm Dr. Caroline Leaf. This podcast represents the opinions of myself and my guests. The content here should not be taken as medical advice. The content here is for educational and informational purposes only. Please consult your healthcare professional for any individual 
medical questions you may have. While we make every effort to ensure that the information we are sharing is accurate, we welcome any comments, suggestions or corrections of errors.